Computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to remove the 502 bad gateway error on a Mac computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, PHP Storm, a website that was programmed in PHP, HTML, CSS. Once you are trying to compile the website, what would you do? Open up the Apache web server, exam, try run your website, and then you receive the error that says bad gateway 502, PHP storm 802. Why is this happening? Well, somewhere along the path, there is the incorrect file or a file such as PHP any needs to be edited the correct way. So we can go all the way down to the dock, go to launchpad, search for PHP. You must have a website in order for this to even occur. And so this is the website that I built myself using code. We can now try execute the file. Let's just try open this up in Google Chrome. And this is what we see. 502 bad gateway. Why is this happening? Well, like I said, there's an incorrect file placed somewhere. Let's just go all the way down to the doc again. Go to Finder. Let's go to Applications, Locate Exam. Open up the Manager dash OSX application. Enter your password. Let's go to Manage Servers. Let's restart all. So that's done, go back to the doc, go to PHP Storm, try run again, we still have the error. Why is this occurring, you may be asking. We need to have the correct file path. So PHP Storm and localhost can see that this is the file path. Before we do that, sometimes you can edit a file. Let's go all the way down to the doc again and locate the php.ini file. Go to Finder. Then you would go to application, search for exam, go to, let's just say ETC. And then we have php.ini, right click and try open this with, let's just say gedit. If that's not working, go all the way down to the dock again. Go to PHP storm. Let's just create a new file. New, before we do that, Let's just try open php.ini within our project we are working on. So let's just do open. If we go back to applications, exam, which is right towards the bottom of the screen, click on exam, double click, go to etc, php.ini, Make a search. Let's search for empty. We are trying to locate syslog. Go back. Syslog, and there we go. And now if we try to edit, it will say we cannot edit because the files are locked. So then if we were to click on OK, OK, we can edit, but this may not work. If we click on Command Z, the idea would be to remove the semicolon, save, and then everything we've done before, do that again. We will just leave it the way it is. Command S, we are not trying to touch the PHP any file. That's just more work for no reason. If we go to Google Chrome again, we still have a bad gateway. Now, if we go to, let's just say file or preferences,
language and frameworks, PHP. Click the three dots. We need to remove the etc php any file path. Click on the three dots again. Go to, let's just say, bin. Search for within etc. We need to go to php any. Now this is the same, but this will not work. Go back again. Let's just go to applications, exam, double click, go to bin, now locate PHP. May take some time, keep scrolling towards the bottom of the screen. There is PHP, I see it, click on OK. We need to apply, press OK. Need to press OK again before we execute anything. This will work. Let's just now create a new file called a PHP file. Hello world. Remove all this. Let's just program a basic website. Doc type HTML. Within HTML, we need a body. Within this, we would add the HTML code. But for this tutorial, let's just add the PHP code less than question mark PHP. Go to a new line. Echo. My first script, semicolon, but not forget the semicolon, new line, question mark, greater than, we already have that, so we're okay. Command us to save, now we can execute to see what is really happening. And there we go, my first script. So we have officially removed the error that says 502, bad gateway, Minimize Chrome for the moment, go back to the main file, which is index.php, let's just execute on Google Chrome, and now we have the website up and running, fully working, not uploaded to the host, this is on localhost. We can now quit Google Chrome, we can quit PHP Storm, yes, exit, we can quit Finder, we can minimize exam, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.